We're going to relocate the power switch on our Harvey table saw. Another personal upgrade, next. I'm Rick, and this... Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is The Shack. Hello and welcome back to The Shack. In this video, I'm going to do a personal upgrade. From the factory, Harvey decided to put the power switch directly in line with the left hand tilt wheel. So if you want to tilt your blade, you have to reach around the power switch and crank the handle. That doesn't work for me. That is directly interfering with the operation of my table saw. Plus, I cannot tell you how many times I have hit that stinking switch with my thigh, moving the material through, walking up as I move the material through, dunk. I hit the power switch, shutting it off, have to sit there and wait for the blade to stop, back up, start again, and start my cut all over. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that, so I am done. It has to be moved out of the way of my my line of work and out of the way of the operation of the table saw it needs to be on the right. Those are the two main reasons why I am doing this. Now, a little disclaimer, if you are not comfortable working on electrical, please do not do this. You can do everything up to the point of having to remove the wire from the motor, rerouting the wire and reconnecting it to the motor. You can do everything up to that point, but if you're not comfortable working on electrical, don't do it. Have somebody else come in and disconnect the wire, reroute it, and reconnect the wire to the motor. Either have an electrician do that, or if you know somebody who is very capable, have them do that. But remember, if you do do this, it is on you, not on me, not on Harvey. It may void the warranty, I'm not sure. I will edit that part in. I'm going to Harvey next week to pick up something, and I will edit that part in once I come back and find out, because I'm going to talk to them about a couple of things that I've done to my table saw. Hopefully give them ideas. Maybe they can incorporate and change a few things because there's a few things that they could do to the table saw, fine tweaking, that would make 300% difference in the overall table saw. And this is just one. <laughs> and make sure you are subscribed and have the notification bell rung because I'm actually making three videos out of this single thing that I am doing. I'm also going to make a video on how to replace the belt if you have a dove style trunnion. And I'm going to be working on the dust collection underneath the cabinet. I don't like the way it's done in there. I'm going to see if I can modify it a little bit. So there's three videos, the electrical, the belt, and the dust collection all on this because I have to do so much, so it's a lot. Make sure you subscribe and notification bell rung so you can check those videos out. So with all that said, let's just dive in, get started on relocating this power switch to a better, more convenient side of the table saw. Originally, the power switch was drilled and tapped to the factory rail right in front of your left tilt wheel. So you had to reach around if you wanted to tilt. Not that you do it that often, but still is right in the way. Now my vintage table saw is a left hand tilt. This power switch is on the right, so I prefer mine on the right. And I know you can't see, but I have updated my table saw and I've added the INCRA fence system to it. So I didn't want to drill and tap into the INCRA rails. I used the bolts and T-nuts that came with the INCRA and I had to buy extras to mount my power switch on this side, as you see here. This is where I normally have my power switch. I'm used to it on this side, plus it's out of the way from over there. Right here is where it fa comes factory. I am going to bring it over here, but it's going to be right in the way. As you saw, I took off the numbers. I'm going to keep in line with the degrees here, bring it straight over and put it right here. So now this cord will go about right there. That's nice. 
it's out of the way, it's not in here, it looks much cleaner. And I have little tabs with the uh, two-way sticky thing on the back, I am putting underneath my cast iron tabletop and this cord, power cord, will go underneath that and hook onto those and go along the side of where the little, your cabinet door is on the side over here. So it'll be up and over that and out of the way. It'd be a much cleaner look. I think I'm just going to disconnect it from the switch. I don't want to get into the motor. So I think I'm just going to take this off just because it's easier to get to versus trying to wiggle into the cabinet. So I'm just going to do this. I have to get a, I think it's a Phillips screw in the back, take this off, set it down, and I'm gonna take it apart. Now the switch is held on in the back with two screws. Here are Allen bolts, so you'll need a Allen wrench. The front screws are Phillips, so I use my Phillips screwdriver. I thought the back was Phillips, I guess not, I forgot. There we go. Okay. Now I just need to know this one comes in. Wow. That one's easy to get to. <laughs> it might be easier just to go through the stinking motor. Damn. New plan. I'm going to go to the motor because I ain't going to mess with all this. Try to get down and get the damn wire. Oh, well. So much for that, now we know. So it's back to the motor, so I'm gonna have to crawl into this cabinet. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I just, nothing goes easy. All right, I don't know if those are Phillips or what the heck they are. Sucks, I can't see in here now. Nope, oh, they're Phillips. Ugh. I didn't wanna work inside the cabinet here. Okay, that off. Much better, cool. That's easy to get to. So I can bring these out. So basically I have, this is the black wire, the white wire and my ground I can't even see the damn ground. Oh no, don't tell me I can't do that. So the black wire goes to the yellow brown. You see right there, white to white, and it's got a yellow connected. What the heck, I can't see in here. There's white and the ground. I don't know, I'm gonna take another picture. I can't see what the ground's connected to. Okay, so the ground is held in with the Phillips. That's gonna be hard to get into when I can't see. So the good thing is it's just hand tight. We can unscrew this. It'll come out, but I have to disconnect it. Sorry, but I gotta see in here. I can't see. I need a flashlight. Ah, there it is. All right, I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the black and on these, so I make sure I get to the same one and the white to the white and yellow. Just my little illness, because I, I wanna make sure I get it correct so there's no issues with anything down the road and nothing does happen. Because these are staying in here, these are the motor wires. I just wanna put a piece of tape on that black wire so I know I get back to the same one again. There it is. Oh, where are you? Right there. Okay, so this is the white one I want. Actually, they did that pretty good on this one. <clears throat> there. There we go. So let me get these back together. There. That is done. 
And I can pull, actually I'm just gonna take this one completely off. Let me go inside and unscrew that. There you go. Now I gotta put me a piece of tape on here. So what I'm just wanna do, kind of go right there. So I'm gonna bring it about right there. I'm gonna mark this. It's about right there. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay. So I'll get the center of all that. It's gonna be around there somewhere, and that's what I'm gonna drill into right there. That looks like about center. Well, I'm gonna drill me a pilot hole to get started, and I have a step one. If you want to know anything about the tools that I use, I'll start putting links in the description below. So if these are really nice set. I've had these for about three years now, Milwaukee Cobalt. These are metal drill bits, really, really nice. Let me get the file. I'll follow that smooth and we can put that in there. All right, got it all filed. Let's peel this off. Yeah, it looks good. Looks real good. So now I can slide all this in there, man. That's gonna be great. Oh man, look at that. That looks so nice now. What did I do with the back part? That on there. Slide that back through. Pull that a little bit. So I got a little bit of play there. That looks good right there. Oh yeah, that looks good there, man. I like that. Oops. Oh yeah. I forgot about taking that off. That's when I first got it. There we go. Looking good. Keep the alpha on there. Look at that. It looks like it came that way. Uh-huh. Much, much better. Now let's get back inside and hook this motor back up. Tell you what, there's a lot of extra wire, but that's good. I'm not going to even mess with this stuff. I'm just going to shut it off because I got to get in here and get the ground wire put on and then I'll connect. Remember, that's why I did it. Make sure I got the correct ones back right. Tape to tape, white to white there. Put those back in and then uh, I'll be right back. But you'll need to see all that. I need to crawl in here. That was a chore getting that ground wire on. So now, there, that's tight. These are in there. I can put these back in here. Actually, I'll put one there and one there. 
Actually, what I want to do, the motor shouldn't take off too much, but just in case, let me do this. What do I do with the nut? There it is. I'm going to put it on in. I just want to kick the motor on and off real quick just to make sure we're working. Let me plug it in, make sure we're safe. Okay, it didn't arc, it didn't get shocked. So that should be good, so let's just make sure it works. All right, it works. So let me unplug it. I can put the cover button that back up. This electrical part is done and we get back to working on the duct work. I am so happy now. It, this to me just, just improved my table saw 80%. A couple little, little things take care of it. It'll bring it back to 100%. But this is huge. It's out of my way now. I will not continue to bump it by accident, feed material through on the left side. It's out of my way. It's out of the way of direct operation of the tilt and the wheels right there. This just makes so much more sense. Now the little hole from the factory, all I'm going to do is get a little uh, cap, paint it black, snap it in there. The, the little metal uh, I guess I, I cap, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's just a little metal thing you snap in there. I'm going to paint, paint it black, snap it in. It'll look nice. It won't be very noticeable. Uh, but this makes so much more sense, much cleaner look. And putting the little tabs underneath the tabletop with the little zip ties hanging the wire up there just makes everything so nice and clean. And I like that. That's the anal weirdness in me. I need it that way for me to be comfortable. So now everything's tucked, looks nice, looks clean. I like it that way, it makes more sense over there. I am happy. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back your shack, build it for your sanity. Ah, I love it when it's cooler. This time of year is perfect. I cannot wait to move because I am tired of a single season year round. The only difference now is it's not 113 out, it's about 80 out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need, I need seasons. I want to know what fall and winter feel like again. We are done. Thanks again for watching. We will see you next video.